proteins are linear chains of amino acids. Every protein is chemically defined by its unique sequence of amino acid residues. Just as the letters of the alphabet can be combined to form a variety of words, amino acids can be linked together in varying sequences to form a vast variety of proteins. One particular protein, called a motor protein, transports various cellular cargo, like energy-producing mitochondria, to cellular neighborhoods in need of fuel. They can also provide the pulling power needed to separate chromosomes during cell division. Amino acids carry information from one part of a cell to another, as well as to other cells within the organism. Now, get this. Ribosomes are made from RNA and proteins, so the ribosomes are made of the very proteins they manufacture. In fact, it takes over 150 existing proteins to manufacture just one protein. They transfer information from one component to another component. There are many different uh, operating systems involved. There are different programming languages involved with the various components that are within the cell. And all of them have the same components that any other computer would have. We also have mechanical and biological computers. The necessary and sufficient components of any functional computer are memory for data storage, an executable program containing instructions for processing data, the processor, which executes the instructions, and the capability to produce meaningful output. Many components of cells are components of real biological computers, equivalent to the components of electronic computers. For instance, DNA and RNA can hold prescriptive information, or algorithms, and proteins can be used to hold, transfer, or process data. Proteins are the output generated by the translation process of a ribosome's computer system. Better stated, life is basically the result of an information process, a software process. Our genetic code is our software, and our cells are dynamically, constantly reading that genetic code. We now have a much clearer understanding of the intricacies of life. The cell is an extremely efficient and well-networked computer system with thousands or even millions of processors and billions of bits of information. The nucleus is the control center of a cell. This is where we find most of the DNA which contains the instructions needed to create other elements of the cells, like the motherboard of a computer controlling its components, the nucleus directs the growth, metabolism, and reproduction of the cell, among other things. Life requires fully functional DNA, RNA, ATP, enzymes, and other proteins. If any of those components were missing or not working properly, life would fail to exist. This continues to generate several unanswered questions. How could non-living material develop the hardware and software known to be required by all living organisms? How did nature develop the arbitrary protocols for communication and coordination among the thousands of computers in each cell? If unwound, a single DNA strand would be about six feet in length. And yet, it fits into a cell which can't even be seen with the human eye. Remarkably, these strands are kept from tangling as they are separated and duplicated. Next, these strands are copied by enzyme-based computers, creating an exact replica of each original strand. Over 30 different proteins are required for duplication and repackaging of cellular components during cell division.